Uh, <laughs> hey. Welcome back to our unboxing. Yeah, we got Yay. a big haul today. It's a little bit haul. piled up, but everything in this haul should be up and out mm -hmm. and available except for the DVDs today. So the DVDs will be out a little bit later. Everything else is going to be out on the shelves today. Okay. Okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. So our first book is called Honey Girl. Honey Girl. Honey Girl. Yeah. yeah. Look at that pretty book. That is a gorgeous cover. I like by it. By Morgan Rogers. I like it. All right. Next we have Nick. Nick. Which, I don't know if some of you know, but this is actually about Nick from The Great Gatsby because The Great Gatsby just went out of its copyright. So if you want to write a story with any characters from The Great Gatsby, say you have a fan fiction that you're writing with Dracula, you can put Jay Gatsby in there. They can mm -hmm. hang out and get a Dunkin' Donuts, except Dunkin' Donuts is copyrighted. Blunk and blow nuts. Blunk and blow nuts. Something, yeah. Exchange. Yes. Yeah. Okay, next up we have What's Mine and Yours? It's mine and yours. Ooh, and these are faces. What? Yeah, see if they're faces. Oh, up. they're pointing up. Oh. Look it at looks that, like you guys. Arms. So if I turn it, say like this, do you faces. guys see? Faces. And the bottom's a city. The bottom's a cityscape. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look see? It's a city. Mm -hmm. See it? Pow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Next, we have Gory Details Adventures Ooh, from the Dark Side of Science. So good. Yeah. I love it. A Halloween y book for March. Halloween for March. Halloween in March. We'll take it. We will. Next, we have Sparks Like Stars by Nadia Hashimi. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Mm -hmm. And it's got those really nice pages. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right, next we have Troubled Blood by Robert Galbraith. And Robert Galbraith is actually one of J.K. Rowling's pseudonyms or pen names. Mm -hmm. So if you've read Harry Potter and you're maybe looking for something that's more an adult kind of theme, like a murder mystery, this is her. This is the way to go. This is the way to go. Robert this Galbraith. is the way we go. Next up, we have Hooked. Food, free will, and how food giants exploit our addictions. And it's got mm. little, like, hypnotic pinwheels all over it. You're getting very sleepy. You're getting very hungry. You know the zombie. Oh. Sometimes we got a reminder. Yeah, the guys are hungry for books. Hungry for- don't eat our books, please. Don't, don't eat, eat our the books. books. <laughs> one box down. One box down. Last one is Come, Come Fly down. the World and it's about the jet age story of the women of Pan Am. So it's actually Pan about Am. flight attendants. Cool. Yeah. yeah. My friend who's a flight Real attendant. Flight she would probably like this book. Seemed very interesting. Shout out Sam. Okay. All right. And next we're going to start on our DVDs. DVDs. DVD. DVDs. So we have the live action Mulan. Mulan. Hey. It was good. I haven't seen it yet. I'll have to watch it. You will. Think it's available at the Pell City the Library. library. <laughs> Next, we have Liam Neeson's Honest Thief. Honest Thief. And this one was a patron request. So shout patron. out. Thank you. And you will be getting a call. Thanks, guy. Mm -hmm. Or gal. He's a gal. Oh, gal. Thanks, oh, gal. that makes sense because he's yeah. Liam Neeson. Yes, he is. Qui Gon Jinn, everyone's crush. Mm -hmm. Actually, Obi Wan is better, but that's my that's my correct opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, we have because the second one just came out. We got number one for you. Coming to America. Really good Eddie Murphy film. Yes. Very funny. Just a yes. classic. A total classic. This is one I need to it's see. Excellent movie. You haven't seen it? Have no. It's excellent. Not living my best life, but don't no. know it. Also, <laughs> Women's History Month, we're going to get Girl Power, Girl Power, Lawyer Wonderkind, Pretty in Pink, Wiggly Blonde, One and Two, Unbeatable, Bend and Snap, Bend and Snap. Mm -hmm. Next, we have a Wes Anderson movie. It is the Grand Budapest Hotel. It's an absolutely gorgeous movie. The set design, the music, the costumes in this are just 
phenomenal. It is a wow. great film. I like that it's pink. It is beautiful. Pink. There's a theme. Pink, pink, pink. Pink, pink, pink. pink. Two pink ones. Well, okay, there's a small mm -hmm. theme. A small theme of a couple pink ones. <laughs> Next, we have another request. This is Disney Pixar's Inside Out, where it's like little feelings, I think, or like little guys here. Are you guys in your fields? In your feelings? I don't know. Are they the feelings? Is that what they're the feelings. They're okay. your emotions. They're the feelings. They're the emotions. They your go. emotions. See, this one's joy, disgust. You kind of want to dress like her today. I'm disgust. Disgust. Disgusted with you. Discuss that. Let's not. Okay. <laughs> Fear, anger, and sadness. She's blue. Boink. Okay, next we have Antebellum, which if you like the movie Get Out, this is by the same people. This is by Jordan Peele. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good. It's going to be a good one. Jordan Peele makes good. excellent movies. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, next we have Color Out of Space, which is a uh, rendition of an H.P. Lovecraft story. We can see our main man right there. We got old Nikki Cage. Nicholas Cage. Nikki Cage. Oh, yeah. And it's a sci-fi thriller kind of thing. Oh, so. sci-fi. Mm -hmm. Next, we got our double feature here. If we got any anime fans, you're going to know who I'm talking about. We got a couple of Miyazaki films. Hi, I'm Miyazaki. I got us a couple of basically the intro ones that most people were introduced to anime in general through these mm -hmm. movies. We have Spirited Away and we have My Name or Totoro. Yay! Yeah! Those are so cute. Mm -hmm. This one's about two girls kind of starting a new life because they have to move out to the countryside and these sort of magical things happen. This big old friend comes and hangs out with them. They ride on a big cat bus. They have to go visit their mom really good movie. This one, you can show this to kids like three and up pretty much. It's good for young, young kids and older. Two, cat bus. Mm -hmm, cat bus. The next one, Spirited Away. This one's good for all age ranges. I might say kids maybe like, you know, seven, eight, just because there's some kind of spooky like spirits and ghosties in it. Not scary, scary, just spooky. It's not scary, but, but it could it's be. a girl it who could... gets stuck in a, basically an enchanted bathhouse and all the mystical, magical kind of things that happen there, and it has a lot of folklore in it. So you can learn a lot Ooh, from it too. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. They're very both excellent nice. movies, and if you don't want to have to watch them, they also will have dubs on the discs. Ooh. So yeah. Because I would watch this one. Oh, it's excellent. I would watch this one. Mm -hmm. All right, that's the end of our DVDs. Back to books. No more DVDs. Back to the books. Mm -hmm. So, young adult, here we go. We have a book called Like Home like home very pretty cover very pretty mm -hmm. next we have fat chance charlie vega and she is so cute mm -hmm. is she not cute she's adorable mm -hmm. i love it she's so cute mm -hmm. like me mm -hmm. next we have every heart a doorway Ooh, every heart a doorway this one sounds like a romance, maybe? I'm not romance. sure. Romance. Couldn't have told you. It's young adult, so there's probably kind of weird twists. Yeah, so there's probably twists. There's a twist. Magical realism and all that. Next, we have one called Yolk. Yolk. And it's got like an egg yolk. See? Yes. Egg Show yolk. off the side. Oh, it's got the hands Dear holding boy, on the yes. side. Isn't that cute? Touching hands. Looks cool. I thought it was... Um, a manga at no. first. It just but it's just, just a regular book book. It's a book. See? Words, no pictures. But yeah, it's very, I like it. It opened it all the way up. Mm -hmm. So you can see, like, okay, they're they're holding hands. Mm -hmm. very I nice. love this color scheme, that bright yellow and black. Yes. is so aesthetically pretty. Very to pretty. Me. I like this. I want to read it. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Big Name coming out with a new book. It is Cassandra Clare with Chain of Iron. Mm -hmm. Chain of Iron. Mm -hmm. Which she's mm -hmm. the one that did the City Ashes, City of Bones, all those. Yes. Yeah. She's a good one. She's a big name over in the young adult. Next up, That's we the got back some. of the library. That is the back of the library. If you need help finding where it is, you can ask us. Or if you go in our doors, turn to the right, and go all the way to the back, all mm -hmm. the green dots on the side, like this, are young adults. 
and young adult isn't just for young adults you can really be any age and go to that once yes. you're past like what 15 16 mm -hmm. you're fine in that section even as like you can be 50 67 you can be 150 and you can still find some 16 right to infinite yep Next, we're moving into junior fiction. Yeah. We have, it looks like a basketball novel. Nikki Sports on the ball. line. Sports. Sports ball. Sports. We are obviously not sports people anymore. 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 Sports. Okay. We got a Geronimo Stilton, everyone's favorite mouse. Mm -hmm. The last resort, Oasis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Bow. Let's say that's everybody's favorite mouse, or is Mickey Mouse everyone's favorite mouse? There's a lot of mice. Think about it. There's a lot of mice. Mm -hmm. Something to think about. But it's a different kind of mouse. It's a different kind of mouse. It has a brown. Yes. Where Mickey is a Russian. Huh? I think that's the type of breed that he is. Oh. oh. Okay, I thought you meant Mickey Mouse was Russian. I was like, no, I think he's American. Make it a mouse. You made some comments. I was to gotta say, Mickey Mouse is a sleeper cell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but is he? No. No. <laughs> okay, next we have The Girl Who Stole an Elephant. <gasps> I wanna do that. I'm sure she had a good reason. You gotta have it a looks, good reason. He looks happy uh -huh. with her. Yeah, maybe he wanted to be taken. And he's like, oh, they were gonna take my tusk. This little girl saved me. That could be it. I mean, or he could have been a war elephant. Ivory. Yeah. Or he could have been a war elephant. Oh, that too. Next, we have another big name. We're having another Wings of Fire. Everyone's wings of favorite fire. dragon. Wings of Fire. Wings of Fire. Fire. It's or not. as my aunt says, Fire. 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 That's not one of the comic books. That's one of the written, like, you mm -hmm. know, word novels. There's words in there. Yes. There are words in there. It's a book. There's always words in there. It's not the comics. It's not a comic, see? Yeah. All right. Next, we have a new installment of the Magic Trios. I know. Nice. It's camp time in California. They should not be lighting that fire, I don't think. That looks a little dangerous. Uh oh. They know. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Right. Uh -oh. There's a bear there. Spaniels. That's not a good sign. Hey, look, who's this guy? I guess you gotta read the book to mm -hmm. find out. That's old Bill. Old Bill. Yeah, that's old Bill. I don't know who that is. That is not old Bill. <laughs> okay, next we have another favorite, Big Nate in your face. In your face. This one is a comic. Is it in my face or your face? It's in your face. Oh, it's in my face. Hey, that actually was me when I played soccer. Yeah, there you it go. explains a lot. Yeah. In your face. <laughs> I have no comment. Okay, next we have the other favorite dragon series. Mm -hmm. Dragon Masters, Heat of the Lava Dragon. And this one looks like it might be set in, okay, it says a faraway island. Ooh, so this mm -hmm. one's tropical. 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 Yeah. Tropical locale. Yeah. And moving on to kids books. Kids. So next we got the old boat. That looks really cute. It looks cute. So it does. Look at the little fishes. Look at the fishes. Mm -hmm. He's so happy. My husband was like, I catch all those fish. <laughs> <laughs> so would he? Yeah. Okay. Good fisherman. <laughs> right. He's really good. There you go. I would be in the same boat with the same thing happening. Catch and one. not catch any. Oh, none. Okay. None at all. Yeah. Well, we're here for books, not for fish. I'm here to be pretty. That's all I got. There you go. Next, we have Big Feelings. Big Feelings. Kids hanging out. I'm in big my feelings. feelings. I'm in my feelings. Mm -hmm. In my feelings. Beep, beep, beep. That one's going beep, beep, beep. Wow. This kid's sad about chores. Probably. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh, she's so cute. This one's called Daisy. Oh, it's about a little piggy. A little piggy. Oh, there's baby piggies on the back. Oh, is it those pigs that you can go see? Javelinas? Yes. Maybe. They look like they might be javelinas. 
I like that she has flowers in her hair. Mm -hmm. Cute. Javelinas. For everyone that doesn't know, javelinas are these little bitty piggies that hang out in the desert in like the southwest. So if you go to the Grand Canyon, you might see these little bitty piggies. And they're called javelinas. Oh, I meant the ones you can go swim with. Oh, well, I have no idea. I want to go swimming with pigs. I heard this pig's going to be a little pigs. aggressive though. Pigs do tend to be aggressive. I mean the pigs. Yeah. Next we have Mornings with Monet, which is obviously oh, the famous painter Monet. Yeah. So it's probably going to have an art style close to uh, like this water. going to ask. Does it have the art style? Yes. yes. It's very close to it. Yeah. Very close. Cool. Gorgeous books. So if you have an nice. artistically inclined child, they might like this. They might sing an art kind of book, you know? Here's a Vincent Can't Sleep. Oh. And through the window. Well, Ooh, sorry. Ooh. Okay, and our last box is just a couple more adult books. We're mm -hmm. gonna go through that. Mm -hmm. All right. Next we have In the Quick by Kate Hope Day, and it's got an astronaut floating through the pink void. Um, I want to be this astronaut, just floating. I don't through pink dust. I'm very afraid of space. Pink is sus. <laughs> pink is sus. Pink is sus. Pink is sus. So next we have, now we're all aware of Hamlet, but have we ever seen Hamnet? What? Hamnet? What? A novel of the plague. Yeah, this what? one's about the Black Death, the plague. Ooh. Like the bubonic plague? Yeah. Hamnet. I actually would read that. It's mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. Wow. Don't want to be that guy. No. Oh, it also has that fun. Mm-hmm. The uneven pages. Yes. Okay. Next, we have The Lost Apothecary, a novel by Sarah Penner. Ooh. This one's about a secret apothecary shop mm. catering to all kinds of unusual clientele. Ooh. Ooh. And for anyone who doesn't know what apothecary is like a like a medicinal kind of Carolyn like, Hall would know. She would know. Carolyn Hall would know. Shout out Carolyn Hall. Mm -hmm. Like a pharmacist kind of. Yes. But like the old tiny e version of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alright, next mm. we have Clara in the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro. And this one. Oh, it's about like an artificial friend, like an AI. Ooh. That's Clara. So if you see the movie Her, I think it's kind of like that. Ooh, artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Yeah, it's, it's very happening. cool. We're getting there. We are. We all got that, uh, what's her name? Siri? I got Siri. Siri phone. Next. That would have been weird if she was like, hello? <laughs> yeah. Next, we have The Kitchen Front, a novel by Jennifer Ryan. And this one is about. World War II. Ah, it's about food supply and stuff hmm. in World War II. An cool. interesting kind of look at it, I guess, from like, yeah, not very just, nice. I mean, like, we have a lot of books about, like, the women that worked in factories. I don't think we have that many mm. that worked in, like, food lines, stuff like that. Very cool. That's interesting. Like that. Interesting. Interesting. She's got that classic red lip going mm -hmm. on. Next, we have another big name. Clive Cussler in Clive Fast Ice. Fast Ice, not Slow Ice. There he is. He has impressive facial hair. Whoa. Wow. All right, Clive, wow. we see you. I dig it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Got a lot of fans. We're gonna have facial hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, we have another big name, CJ Box. This mm -hmm. one is Dark Sky, a Joe Pickett novel. Mm -hmm. Cowboy. Mm, cowboy. 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 Oh, All right, next we have The Committed, mm. a novel by Viet Thanh Nguyen. I think mm -hmm. I said that right. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a follow up to his prize winning novel, The Sympathizer, which we have. And this one is about a man overcoming and going through re education. Mm. Mm -hmm. Turn into deprogram. Oh no. 
I think so. I think that's the story. It's got diamond well, tower in his eyes. Yes. All right. We have another big name. Miss Danielle Steele with the affair. And as always, looking just, just great like she's ever. living her best life. Every single car I see the she is just living her best life. Great Miss Steele. as ever. Miss Steele. Great as ever. I think we have a surprise guest. Oh. Should we let her in? Let's see, right. what, Let's see what she's got. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, Thank you. Yeah, we have a surprise unboxing. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Haunted Hibiscus by Laura Childs. A hibiscus is a flower that is red, and if you make a tea out of it, it's very tart. It's delicious. I love hibiscus tea. Okay, and last, before our special package, we have a new novel by Stephen King. Stephen King! The King. The King of Horror. It's called Later, and it looks like a little Later. pulp novel. Like, love this style. Dig yes. it, dig it. There you are. So, so why don't we see what Miss Stephen What do you get from Miss Stephen? If I can open it. Oh my, actual unboxing. Yeah, it's very tightly packaged. Ah, there we the go. struggle is real. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's a double feature. Double and a good feature. Thing to end on. So exciting. Scooby Doo and the Alien Inviters. And Scooby Doo on Zombie Island, which is mm. such a good movie. Scooby Dooby Doo! So I love Scooby Doo! Scooby Doo, I love Scooby Doo. I know one. Scooby Doo. I know one little boy who would like this. Mm -hmm. I know a couple yeah. people that would yeah. like that. Well, I know a lot of people that would like yeah. that, but I, I specifically know a, a, a person. Okay. Well, that's all we got for you today. Like we mm -hmm. said, everything except for the DVDs will be out on the shelves today. Yes. The DVDs will come out in a couple of days and they'll be available for checkout. Check yeah. everything we've got out. We've got a couple of displays this month. We have one with Super Women, which has a lot of female superheroes in it, like Captain Marvel, <laughs> maybe some anti-heroes and Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a display called Luck of the Irish, which has Irish, Scottish movies, and also Shrek is there. Because he has Shrek. a Scottish accent. Because Shrek. We'll count it. Because Shrek. Because Shrek. What other reason do we need? We don't need one. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Come in and check out anything in here.